Welcome friends, welcome back to the AWS Security Certification Top 30 MCQ with answer and explanation. Listen to this video carefully so that it will help you during the exam. Here we will see all the questions with the real-time use case and we will decode the answer for the certificate exam. So the first question is, which AWS service allows you to centrally manage firewall rules across multiple accounts? Let's see the option and the options are, option A, AWS Shield, option B, AWS Firewall Manager, Option C, AWS Config, Option D, AWS Trusted Advisor. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, Option B, AWS Firewall Manager. AWS Firewall Manager simplifies your AWS WAF administration and maintenance tasks across multiple accounts and resources. Let's move to the second question. How does AWS Certificate Manager, ACM, assist in managing SSL's TLS certificates? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, by providing DDoS protection. Option B, by automatically renewing certificates. Option C, by monitoring network traffic. Option D, by managing encryption keys. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option B by automatically renewing certificates. AWS Certificate Manager, ACM, handles the complexity of managing SSL's TLS certificates, including automatic renewal, which helps secure network communications. Let's move to the third question. What is the purpose of AWS Cloud HSM? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, key management. Option B, high-scale data storage. Option C, hardware security module, HSM for secure key storage. Option D, traffic management. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, option C hardware security module, HSM, for secure key storage. AWS Cloud HSM provides hardware security modules that allow you to manage your own encryption keys using FIPS 140 to 2 level 3 validated HSMs. Let's move to the fourth question. Which AWS service offers managed threat detection specifically for AWS Lambda functions? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, AWS Cloud Trail. Option B, AWS Guard Duty. Option C, AWS Macy. Option D, AWS Config. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option B, AWS Guard Duty. AWS Guard Duty provides threat detection and continuous monitoring for malicious activity across your AWS environment, including AWS Lambda functions. Let's move to the fifth question. What is the primary purpose of AWS Resource Access Manager, RAM? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, to encrypt data at rest. Option B, to enable resource sharing across AWS accounts. Option C, to provide content delivery. Option D, to manage IAM roles. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option B to enable resource sharing across AWS accounts. AWS Resource Access Manager, RAM, allows you to securely share your AWS resources with other AWS accounts. Let's move to the sixth question. Which of the following is not a feature of AWS config? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Resource configuration history. Option B. Resource compliance tracking. Option C. Real-time resource monitoring. Option D. DDoS protection. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option D. DDoS protection. AWS Config focuses on resource configuration history, compliance tracking, and real-time resource monitoring, but does not provide DDoS protection. Let's move to the seven question. What is a key benefit of using AWS Secrets Manager over storing secrets directly in your application code? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Improved content delivery. Option B. Automatic rotation of secrets. Option C. Enhanced data warehousing. Option D. Optimized real-time streaming. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option B. Automatic rotation of secrets. AWS Secrets Manager not only securely stores secrets, but also supports automatic rotation, which reduces the risk of exposure from long-lived secrets. Let's move to the eight question. Which AWS service allows you to define rules for inspecting and filtering web traffic? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. AWS WAF. Option B. AWS Config. Option C. AWS Cloud Trail. Option D. AWS IM. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option A. AWS WAF. 
AWS WAF enables you to create custom rules to inspect and filter HTTP and HTTPS web traffic to protect against common web exploits. Let's move to the nine question. How does AWS Macy help secure sensitive data? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, by identifying and protecting sensitive data using machine learning. Option B, by managing SSL's TLS certificates. Option C, by encrypting data in transit. Option D, by providing DDoS protection. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, option A, by identifying and protecting sensitive data using machine learning. AWS Macy uses machine learning to automatically discover, classify, and protect sensitive data stored in AWS. Let's move to the 10 question. Which of the following best describes a use case for AWS Systems Manager Parameter Store? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, encrypting data at rest. Option B, storing and managing configuration data and secrets. Option C, monitoring network traffic. Option D, delivering content at low latency. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, option B, storing and managing configuration data and secrets. AWS Systems Manager Parameter Store provides secure, hierarchical storage for configuration data management and secrets management. Let's move to the 11 question. Which AWS service enables you to detect anomalies in account and resource usage? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, AWS Inspector. Option B, AWS Guard Duty. Option C, AWS Cloud Trail. Option D, AWS Shield. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option B, AWS Guard Duty. AWS Guard Duty uses machine learning to analyze account and resource usage patterns to detect anomalies and potential security threats. Let's move to the Tolave question. What is the purpose of AWS Network Firewall? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, to manage IAM policies. Option B, to encrypt data at rest. Option C, to monitor API calls. Option D, to protect virtual private cloud or VPC networks with stateful and stateless inspection. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, option D, to protect virtual private cloud or VPC networks with stateful and stateless inspection. AWS Network Firewall is a managed service that provides network traffic inspection and protection through stateful and stateless rule sets for your VPCs. Let's move to the 13 question. Which of the following can you use to automate the deployment of security policies across your AWS environment? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, AWS Config. Option B, AWS Organizations. Option C, AWS Lambda. Option D, AWS Inspector. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option B, AWS Organizations. AWS Organizations allows you to apply security policies and manage permissions across multiple AWS accounts in a centralized and automated manner. Let's move to the 14 question. How can you use AWS IAM to control access to your AWS resources? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, by creating IAM users, groups, and roles with specific permissions. Option B, by encrypting data in transit. Option C, by providing DDoS protection. Option D, by managing SSL's TLS certificates. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, option A, by creating IAM users, groups, and roles with specific permissions. AWS IAM allows you to control access to AWS resources by creating users, groups, and roles and assigning them specific permissions through policies. Let's move to the 15 question. Which AWS service provides a centralized view of security alerts and compliance status? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, AWS Cloud Trail. Option B, AWS Config. Option C, AWS Security Hub. Option D, AWS KMS. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option C, AWS Security Hub. AWS Security Hub aggregates, organizes, and prioritizes security alerts and findings from multiple AWS services, providing a comprehensive view of security and compliance status. Let's move to the 16 question. Which AWS feature enables secure connectivity between on-premises networks and AWS VPCs? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, AWS Direct Connect. Option B, AWS Cloud Formation. Option C, AWS IM. Option D, AWS WAF. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, option A, AWS Direct Connect. 
AWS Direct Connect provides dedicated network connections between your on-premises networks and AWS VPCs, ensuring secure and reliable connectivity. Let's move to the 17 question. Which service helps you with compliance by providing predefined security standards and best practices? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. AWS Cloud Trail. Option B. AWS Config. Option C. AWS Security Hub. Option D. AWS Trusted Advisor. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option C. AWS Security Hub. AWS Security Hub includes predefined security standards and best practices, helping you assess compliance and improve security posture. Let's move to the 18 question. What is the primary function of Amazon Cognito? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Encrypting data at rest. Option B. User identity and authentication management. Option C. Monitoring network traffic. Option D. Managing key rotation. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option B User Identity and Authentication Management Amazon Cognito provides user identity and authentication management, enabling you to add user sign-up, sign-in, and access control to your web and mobile apps. Let's move to the 19 question. Which AWS service can you use to protect your applications from SQL injection attacks? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. AWS KMS Option B. AWS WAF Option C. AWS Guard Duty. Option D. AWS Cloud Trail. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option B. AWS WAF. AWS WAF allows you to create rules that help protect your applications from common web exploits such as SQL injection attacks. Let's move to the 20 question. How can you use AWS Systems Manager to enhance security in your AWS environment? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. By managing IAM policies. Option B, by encrypting data in transit. Option C, by automating operational tasks and managing patch compliance. Option D, by optimizing content delivery. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, option C, by automating operational tasks and managing patch compliance. AWS Systems Manager helps automate operational tasks and manage patch compliance, enhancing the security and reliability of your AWS environment. Let's move to the 21 question. What is the purpose of Amazon Detective? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Threat detection and investigation. Option B. Encryption key management. Option C. SSL TLS certificate management. Option D. Content delivery optimization. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option A. Threat detection and investigation. Amazon Detective simplifies the process of investigating security findings and identifying the root cause of potential security issues using machine learning and data analysis. Let's move to the 22 question. Which AWS service provides detailed monitoring of AWS resource utilization and operational health? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. AWS Cloud Trail. Option B. AWS CloudWatch. Option C. AWS KMS. Option D. AWS Inspector. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option B. AWS CloudWatch. AWS CloudWatch provides detailed monitoring and operational health information for AWS resources, enabling you to set alarms and respond to operational changes. Let's move to the 23 question. How does AWS Control Tower assist with multi-account AWS environments? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. By providing encryption services. Option B. By managing network traffic. Option C. By monitoring API calls. Option D. By establishing a secure, compliant, and governed multi-account AWS environment. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option D. By establishing a secure, compliant, and governed multi-account AWS environment. AWS Control Tower provides a pre-configured, secure, and compliant landing zone for managing multiple AWS accounts helping streamline account setup and governance. Let's move to the 24 question. Which AWS service allows you to create and manage customer master keys, CMKs, for encryption? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. AWS Shield. Option B. AWS KMS. Option C. AWS Cloud Trail. Option D. AWS WAF. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option B. AWS KMS. AWS Key Management Service, KMS, enables you to create and manage customer master keys, CMKs, 
for data encryption and decryption. Let's move to the 25 question. What is the primary function of AWS Shield Advanced? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, key management. Option B, DDoS protection with additional detection and mitigation capabilities. Option C, content delivery optimization. Option D, data warehousing. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option B DDoS protection with additional detection and mitigation capabilities. AWS Shield Advanced provides enhanced DDoS protection with additional detection and mitigation capabilities, tailored specifically for large and sophisticated attacks. Let's move to the 26 question. Which AWS service can be used to protect sensitive data in Amazon S3 by automatically identifying and alerting you about sensitive data? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. AWS Inspector. Option B, AWS CloudTrail. Option C, AWS Macy. Option D, AWS KMS. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, Option C, AWS Macy. AWS Macy uses machine learning to automatically discover, classify, and protect sensitive data stored in Amazon S3. Let's move to the 27 question. How does AWS Step Functions enhance the security of serverless workflows? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, by providing DDoS protection. Option B, by managing key rotation. Option C, by orchestrating complex workflows with fine-grained access control. Option D, by monitoring network traffic. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, option C, by orchestrating complex workflows with fine-grained access control. AWS Step Functions orchestrate complex workflows and enable fine-grained access control to secure and manage serverless applications effectively. Let's move to the 28 question. Which of the following services allows you to analyze and filter VPC flow logs for security purposes? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. AWS KMS. Option B. AWS Guard Duty. Option C. AWS Cloud Trail. Option D. AWS Athena. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option D. AWS Athena. AWS Athena allows you to analyze and filter VPC flow logs using standard SQL queries, helping you gain insights into network traffic for security purposes. Let's move to the 29 question. How does AWS organization support security and compliance in a multi-account environment? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. By encrypting data at rest. Option B. By providing central governance and management of security policies. Option C by monitoring API calls. Option D, by managing SSL TLS certificates. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, option B, by providing central governance and management of security policies. AWS organizations provide central governance and management of security policies, enabling you to apply policies and permissions across multiple AWS accounts. Let's move to the 30 question. Which AWS service can be used to continuously scan your AWS environment for vulnerabilities and compliance issues? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, AWS Cloud Trail. Option B, AWS Inspector. Option C, AWS WAF. Option D, AWS KMS. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option B, AWS Inspector. AWS Inspector continuously scans your AWS environment for vulnerabilities and compliance issues, providing detailed assessments and recommendations for security improvements. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.